Hey, it's our French student here, and today I'm going to showcase a dialogue using Java FX and JPhoenix. So first, let me just demonstrate. I think this looks pretty cool. I have a button. When I click the button, I have this dialogue moving down from the top. This is a dialogue. I then have, in this case, an accept and a decline button. I click either, I will close the dialogue, or I'll just print accepted or declined. So let's have a look how it's set up. So when I use JavaFX, I am using a mixture of Scene Builder and just writing in plain FXML. So let's have a look at the Scene Builder setup. So what's actually quite important whenever we use the JPhoenix dialog, we need to have it inside a stack pane. And we need to give the stack pane an ID because we need to define directly in a program where our dialog is going to be placed. In this case, on my stack pane, and I'm just going to call it root, which is kind of like traditional because it's the root of everything and then have a simple anchor pane which contains my button and my button have an on action to show dialog then inside my controller i have a few extra things because whenever we create a dialog inside jphonix with scene builder it's actually going to be completely empty so we need to define a jphonix dialog layout you can also do it into scene builder i prefer to do it manually where I'm going to have a body with some text and then some actions, which is going to be my JPhoenix buttons, which is going to have an ID and a text, which is the text on the button. I then inside my controller have my, my stack pane root, I have my dialog, I have my buttons, and I have my on action button to show the dialog, where I just simply call dialog.show. But importantly, we need to implement initializable, where we before having our dialog show, we need to first set where it's going to be shown. So in this case, set dialog container to our root, our stack pane. And then what's actually quite amazing, my preferred feature of the JPhoenix dialog is we're able to set the transition type. So we have a few different types of transitions. So previously it was going from the top, so from the button, the center, the left, Let's just try a different one. Let's try none, for example. So previously it was coming down from the top and now it's just appearing. And if we just comment this out, actually the default one is kind of like showing from the middle, which oh, I also think is quite cool. Kind of like this slow pop-up feature. And whenever we decline or accept in this case, it's going to reverse in the exact same way it's showcased. So when it's com coming from the top, it's going to go back to the top. In this case, when it's coming from the middle, it's going to disappear back in the middle, which I think is pretty cool. We're then manually defining on our accept and decline button what is going to happen where on my decline button, in this case, just very simple setup, I just simply print a decline and I close the dialog. So we need to close the dialog manually because it's actually just a button placed on our dialog. And then on this button click, we're going to close it. We can close it on decline or on accept. So this is pretty much the basic setup of a JPhoenix dialog using JavaFX. So if you enjoyed this showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.